finally drilling a hole in that isn't already there. So you're going to be putting in muscle lock key safe for the times that you need to access your van and you haven't got your keys on you for whatever reason. That might well be. This is an idea from Nate Murphy. So thank you very much, Nate, for that. Sounded like a good one. And we're going to be installing it in our Citroen Relay. There's a good spot, so we've got to avoid battens that are going to be running across here. We have got our flooring battens down. So they're going to be running it all along this one with the actual screws in. Those were from the plywood that was already here. And we're going to be installing it just here because of this little inlet in the structure. It means that all four screws are going to sit flush to the bottom of the van or bolts rather without having to go up any of the lips. And so I've marked the four little screw holes out. Two, three, four. And what I'm going to do now is just drill one, make sure the other three still line up, drill a second one and make sure the other two line up and continue like that. Let's punch a hole in this. Boom! I'm going to go underneath and see if this fits in the right spot. I'm going to go here. Just like this. Do I do the remainder from down here or up there? I might do it from up there, you know. It's easier. Boom. We've now got our four holes, which are lining up real nice. And top tip is always hoover up your metal filings because they've got sharp edges. And if you sort of rub them against the paintwork, you're gonna scratch it and potentially cause rust. Less of a problem inside, but definitely on the outside, watch out for that. Ta-da! Now I'm just gonna use some of our methylated spirits to give them a little wipe down before we apply red oxide. I'm ready to pop this underneath but what I'm doing to help seal up any holes is put a bit of old fixel which is a sealant basically, adhesive sealant and it's going to help fix these and we'll put a little blob around the top as well before we put the nuts on. So it's just around the edge there and also just stick it where it's stuck. Stick it where it's stuck. Stick it where it's bloody stuck. Bye. Bye. I can see them. Yeah. Which way up does the uh, the bolts go? Uh, the snow that goes on top. The rounded, facing me. Yes. What I did want to do is just pick each of these up and put a little blob of this underneath. So do you want to do the blobbing? Yeah. We'll see it's coming out still. Yeah, that's enough. No, it's not bad. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, same thing again, we're pleased with this. Blob of that, yeah, that's good. And then on the other side. Are you happy? I'm so happy. We've done our first thing. We've done a thing and there's the holes are in the right place and it is just how we worked on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I say we. Tom is. He's got a power, got power tool out again. Mini angle grinder thing. Very cute. We've got a very small blade because we probably use it. We chop the tops of our bolts off. Stop. I don't want to be here when you do this because it's going to be flinging, flanging things around. Finished product. Ground down close as we can get. You can see it's not much higher than the bumps that are on the van. And um, what we're gonna do, it'll be higher than that anyway, so it's not a problem and you're not gonna see it, so it doesn't need to be super pretty, but you know, job satisfaction and all that. Looks good. Happy first job. So there we have it. One key safe. 
You remember the passcode, right? No. <gasps> you broke in! All the money! <laughs> That's exciting. Bing! <gasps> it's a thing! It's a thing! Ow! Every home has to have a key safe. <laughs> oh. <coughs> so if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more. Our next video is going to be what? Flooring? Or some roof vents? Roof vents. No, our next video is going to be roof vents. <coughs> roof vents. My throat is just not clearing today. <laughs> mm, old tea. <laughs> <laughs> Useful tool. A tiered metal drill bit. Is in a whole set. And it came with this, which is also useful. It's a, I don't know, a punch, but it, it's spring loaded, so it sort of fires. Really useful when using this, because this starts at 4mm and sometimes can go a little bit haywire, as in, doesn't drill in exactly where you want. So give it a blam first. Don't want to do it anywhere. It's too blammy. <laughs> we hope you have a good day. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Okay, fine. <laughs>